Hey folks, so um, this is probably the easiest setup I've had to do. <laughs> it's only like my third or fourth one. Um, and probably the easiest setup of any um, cheap sub £100, $100 instrument that I've done in a long time. This is the Fazli. This is the uh, Classic Series um, World Ash Top. Uh, telly style, T style guitar, and I had to do very to, very little to this. Gave it a little going over with um, some really high grit sandpaper to get extra smooth, but really didn't have to do that. Um, did nothing to the the action. Left the strings on because they sound okay, um, and I think just um, heighten the pickups just a touch to get them closer to the strings. Uh, but everything else is fine, everything works, no problems with this guitar. If you look really closely, you can find some imperfections uh, in the binding, um, as per all of these really budget guitars. But uh, I have to say, I've had hundreds of these now, and probably dozens of brands in both the US and the UK. And this is probably one of the best setup that I've got. Um, to date um, this is a Fazley guitar which is much more prominent although I do have seen them in the US much more prominent here in the UK so um, yeah I have to say that this uh, is a very nice uh, instrument for the 80 90 pounds hundred dollar mark um, very minimal setup at least the one I got you might not fare as well or you might fare even better um, of course, of course, these are not gig-worthy machines for high volume. If you want to use it in that application, you probably want to swap out for better pickups. Um, but it's keeping tune, and um, for you know just practice uh, or playing at home, I think it's absolutely fine. Uh, instrument. I can see people buying these for mod platforms, but I can also see, you know, a dad buying this for his kids first electric and being pretty happy with it. It is a bolt-on. Um, it is some kind of rosewood-like substance. I think it's amaranth on the board. Um, and the top may or may not be a wood veneer. I think it is. Um, however, it could also be uh, a photo flame uh, or a picture. Uh, I do think it's a veneer though. I have reasons to believe it when I look at it in the light, but um, it's hard to tell with a burl top. It's easy with a flame top. Um, string trees probably could be better, but they're not the worst I've ever had. They're just these very normative uh, little bracket ones. Bog standard keys that you get on most of these guitars. So again, the parts can be upgraded, but as far as the setup on this thing, uh, it's pretty good. Um, and I'm look when I look really close, I can see a couple of little uh, parts of the binding where the black paint has worn away. But you have to look very, very close. From a foot away, they disappear. So um, for the price range, and this is my first, you know budget tele or strat here in the UK um, this is much better set up and I, I sort of made the point in my last video that <clears throat> that might be to do with also to do with the um, atmosphere 
in the weather over here in the states particularly in colorado where i last resided and worked i was always having to do fret end uh, maintenance on new guitars even high-end guitars just because it was a dry area and as soon as it got shipped from a more humid area to my area uh, which was high desert um, one of the first things to shrink was the hardwood board which left the frets protruding uh, this doesn't have any of that but it may be because i'm in a more humid climate so uh, it's not shrinking as much as probably if anything going the other way so that might be an, another reason for uh, the much better setup upon arrival. Some things to note that um, these companies uh, in the UK seem to have the same issues as the one in the US, in the ones in the US, in that they do minimal packing to these instruments. Um, this came in a uh, typical, very thin guitar box with very minimal packing. So each shipment is a gamble. And also this particular company did not ship a gig bag with the guitar, which I would suggest that they do, if nothing else, to keep the guitar safer in transit. They could include a gig bag. They included a cable or, or a, a guitar cable, so I don't know why they wouldn't add a gig bag, um, but they didn't. So that's my only gripe about this. Um, I think this is up there with uh, a lot of the brands that I've been doing over the last couple of years. Leo James, Donna, Indio, um, those kinds of things. Um, I don't have a high-end amplifier yet, so I can't fully test uh, the pickups, but they sound pretty normative uh, as per all those brands. And if you want high-end pickups anyway, you're going to switch them out. So it doesn't really matter that much. Um, they probably are microphonic. They probably do feedback easily. Um, but for a small... Uh, amplifier or just practice application this guitar is just fine and it plays out of the box fine as well just a couple of minimal tweaks to make it play even better um, and yeah I, I have to say surprisingly good all right folks this is the Fazli uh, little telecopy t-style um, the Burl Dash model uh, you can find this on the UK uh, Amazon site. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the US or not. I noticed that there, uh, one of the Fazleys I got over there, I think was an acoustic. So maybe the electrics will follow soon, or maybe they have already. Um, but anyway, that's what this is, and it's all set up, ready to go. All right, see you on the next one.